Now, so far with grouping, we have seen how to use the AG method. First, you do a group by and then you, you use the AG method. You can also use the apply method. Now, in this one, we will see one more additional method very useful that is called the transform method. Now, the difference between these two methods and transform is on doing AG as well as apply, the resulting data frame will contain unique values of the class. So, in our previous cases, we saw for our P class, the output always contained unique values of 1, 2, 1, 3. This was, this was always the output. And this can be either the mean of the fair or survived, whatever it is. This was how our output was. Whereas in transform method, what it does is instead of aggregating, it does not aggregate, it will create an entirely new column in your data frame. How that column is computed is, for example, say this is this column is our mean fair, average fair. All right, this is our average fair, three different unique values. If you are using transform and computing the average fair, what it will return you is it will give the entire column. Instead of having unique values of your P class, it will have as many rows as the number of rows in your data frame. And in places where 1 is present, this will contain the mean fair. In all places where 1 is present, it will contain the mean fair of that particular class. Alright, this particular value. Likewise, wherever 2 is present, it will contain this particular value. Wherever 3 is present, this will contain this particular value. This is how transform works. Very useful. So, let's see the examples imported the data frames over here let's go to the transform function so here i'm computing a new column here mean fair this mean fair i wanted to contain the mean fair of each and every individual class p class the syntax for transform is very similar to how you would do a group by instead of just instead of ag function we are using a transform function now in addition instead of using a dictionary instead of using a, using a dictionary like this Instead of doing this, I am taking this term, the key term over here. So, from this group data frame, I am retaining only the fair column. Then, I am doing a transform on a particular function. This is because transform does not accept a dictionary. It just accepts the function that you will apply on the data that has been provided to it. So, on running this, you see this, this particular column, fair mean. This contains the mean fair for this class. So, wherever 3 is present, the same value should be present. So that's how transform works. Let's solidify this with a mini challenge. Now the solution of the challenge also is written here. So take your eyes from this. So the question is what percentage of the total fare in each class has each individual contributed? So what that means is you have your data set, you have your class, you have your fare. For a particular class, say all these rows represent class one, right? And we have one individual here. He has paid $10. What is this? What percentage is this $10 compared to all the people who belong to first class has paid? So this should be the output should be 10 divided by sum of all the fare from people who paid in class 1. Same thing you need to compute for class 2 and class 3 also for every individual. So this denominator should be the sum of all the fares, sum of fares of that particular class. So try to work it out. Anyways, the answer is written out over here. A slightly bit involved problem, but if you are able to solve this, you definitely have clearly understood how transform works. And with this, we have covered all the different concepts related to grouping the data frame.